I've always been a little apprehensive when it comes to street photography. You see, I'm a bit of an introvert and the thought of photographing people on the street scares me to the point that I always choose to focus on the streets and their inanimate objects instead. Now, I know you could argue that also counts as street photography, because despite the lack of people in my shots, I'm still capturing the human presence. But that's not good enough for me. I want something more. I want to push myself a little further and go outside of my comfort zone. Capturing humanity through physical objects is fun, but the fast-paced nature of actual people moving around the street is a whole different game, and one I think will be of great benefit to my skill as a photographer. We are in London, a city that houses nearly 9 million people. A far cry from the 150k that live in my hometown. I'm excited because it's my first time here and I like exploring new places. I love being out there and getting a feel for the place and its ever-pounding heartbeat. During trips like these, the only thing that stays in place is the camera around my neck, so I was ready to shoot whenever something unexpected occurs. Because London is such a big city with so much vibrance, I feel comfortable enough to properly try my hand at photographing people on the street as well. Keeping the camera close to my eye at all times while walking at a semi-quick pace allows me to snap a shot of an interesting character whenever we pass one. I realize that as long as I keep moving and my eyes pointing forward, I'm not bothering anyone. Some people notice I'm taking photos, but it appears they assume I'm a simple tourist taking touristy photos. They're not wrong about that, but none of them realize it's them I find most interesting in this overstimulating environment. I can feel my confidence grow as I'm snapping away and capturing the exact type of photos I always envied real street photographers for. I say real street photographers because I think there's a group of purists out there that would say the only proper street photography is the kind where your main subject is people. I personally don't think street photography must have people in the frame, but I also think I might have used that as an excuse to not having to photograph people. It's on the streets of London that I notice there's a certain level of anonymity that comes with the crowd. Back home you stand out immensely when you linger on a street corner with a camera and rarely draw the right kind of attention when doing so. In this bustling city though, life moves at a much quicker pace and simply the sheer amount of people on the street causes you to stand out way less as an individual. The moment I realize this, something changes and I'm suddenly no longer scared to raise my camera. I'm certainly not at a Bruce Gilden level of bravery yet, but for the first time, I'm at least relaxed while wandering around the crowd. 
I feel invisible and powerful at the same time as I gather these ephemeral moments for my archive. I finally see why people are drawn to street photography so much and appreciate the uniqueness of each moment even more because of it. Nothing of what I'm capturing will ever happen in the exact same way again, but my photography is still bringing permanence to a fleeting experience. As I mentioned already, I was too scared to put people into my shots and therefore focused on the street and its inanimate objects because they cannot object when I take their photo. It is people who have put these objects there though, and a photo set is not complete without them. It's those two elements together, human and object, that tell the complete story of our present time, and I should embrace that if I genuinely want to be a documentarian in that regard. The London trip has been transformative because it provided the playground for stepping out of my comfort zone. Reducing myself to just another body in the crowd has been liberating in a way that I never experienced before. Perhaps simply being in a place that's not home is enough to get me in that liberated headspace because nobody knows me, I have nothing to lose. Still, London, being as big as it is, was the perfect place to set my first steps towards becoming a real street photographer. The goal right now is to feel just as comfortable on the streets of my hometown. Maybe I'll first practice some more in the bigger cities of my country, assuming those will provide me with a similar level of anonymity. Eventually though, I want to be the person that's able to make a picture in any situation, no matter how fast the action or how short the moment is. Whether that means I can remain unseen or stand out instead. I'll get there, but for now, I'm just another body in the crowd. <laughs>